Tiny Forest Ice Eagles. Hi. It's Miss Boardlawn and Mitchell Boardlawn, and we're here to do some science with you today. All right, Mitchell is a sixth grader at Forest Type, so shout out to all those sixth graders out there. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about energy. Um, so there are a couple words I want to show you. Uh, we're talking about chemical energy, and those mm -hmm. words are exothermic mm -hmm. and endothermic. Endothermic. All right, so let's look at these words. Will you hold endothermic for me? Mm -hmm. All right, so we can take these words and kind of divide them up into parts. Mm -hmm. So there's a little thing of exo right here, and then thermic. All right, so mm -hmm. exo means from outside. From outside. So it's pushing something outside. And then thermic, what do you think thermic is? Heat. Heat, that's exactly right. So what other words use therm? Thermometer. Oh, that's perfect, thermometer. And what do thermometers do? They measure heat. Mm -hmm. And heat is a measure of energy in science. Mm -hmm. So an exothermic reaction is one that gives off heat. So it will get hotter. Now let's look at endothermic. So this part right here, endo, what does that mean? Within. So it's taking in that energy. And of course, thermic means heat. So if it's taking in energy, what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna get cold. It will get colder. All right, so cool. We have some examples. Um, the first example we have is of an exothermic reaction. So if this is an exothermic reaction, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna get hot or cold? Hot. Good. All right, let's try it. All right, goggles on for safety. I'm okay. gonna step away since I don't have goggles. Okay. And we're gonna see what happens. Cool, do you feel it getting warmer? Yeah. Excellent. All right, good job. All right, you can put it down. All right, we can tell that a chemical reaction happened because there were bubbles and foam and it gave off heat, which Mitchell was able to feel. All right, now what about an endothermic reaction? Well, have any of you guys ever done the baking soda and vinegar reaction? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty common. So if you do that, you get to see all the cool bubbles that happen from the reaction. But if you feel the reaction, kind of like Mitchell did. It's cold. It does get cold. So if you have baking soda and vinegar at your house. You can um, put the baking soda in a bag and put the vinegar in a bag and seal it and the bag will expand. Perfect. It's going to expand because the gases are given off. And then if you feel the bag, you'll be able to feel that it gets cold. Mm -hmm. So if it gets cold, what kind of reaction is it? End of. Perfect. All right, thanks for visiting with us. We had a great time doing some science with you today. Bye. Bye.